What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 camp build. In case you don't know, I have been making camps for quite some time, basically since the game has released. I actually have a whole playlist dedicated to all of my camp builds. If you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description to that playlist so you can check out all my other camp builds. And this one though, I actually made a fishing dock. And to make it a bit more immersive, I have a bunch of other players here dressed as fishermen. Well, I have some visitors too that aren't uh, exactly a part of this. Like, there's just a random space man here. <laughs> that wasn't a part of the immersion. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, as you can see, for the most part, the people walking around in fisherman apparel are a part of the immersion. So big thanks to everyone here helping make this fishing village come more to life. But anyways, I guess to get this started, I should show you the location of where I built this at. It's a pretty awesome location. I definitely recommend this area. You hardly ever have to worry about any enemies here. But yeah, as you can see, it's located right over here to the right of Harper's Ferry. As you can see, there was a nuke launched here, which by the way, Harper's Ferry is an amazing spot to launch a nuke at. You got all of the enemies above right here, then you get all of the enemies down below in the burrows. It's personally, to me, better than the White Springs. There is just loads and loads of enemies that you get to take out within this nuke zone. I don't know why I'm saying that though, because my camp may get nuked in the process, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and give a tour of this place. This is Harper's Fishing Village. So, first off, I guess I should explain a little bit on how I got this foundation this close to the water. Which, by the way, all of this was already here. This- oh my- no! No! This mailbox. This. Little welcome mat. This, uh, well, the toolbox wasn't, but this chair was. Obviously, this boat and all the other boats in the tree. Anyways, yeah, so how I got- my foundation this close to the water, how I made it feel like a dock. I, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you by going underneath here. As you can see, there is a foundation that I started with, and then I used this staircase. Which, by the way, real quick, I had to, uh, mess around with this foundation here until I got the upper floor to be just above the water, so it would seem more like a dock. As you can see, it's just above it. And the reason why I don't have a fence in here is because, well, I was just thinking, like, for immersive reasonings, this is how the boat would, you know, lock up to the dock or whatever. Also, some of you may be wondering, well, why can't you exactly get up with the staircase rifle? Eh, yeah, I could have done it like that, but I decided not to. I made it instead like this, where you can just get up by um, sitting in a chair, as you can see. And, then, yeah, I'm up on my dock. It's that simple. Or you can just jump up onto the dock. But, uh, yeah. Now since that part is out of the way, let's go ahead and begin the tour of this camp build. I guess I'll start off with the port side grill here. As you can see, this is what we got going on inside. <laughs> got a cook here. Now that's immersive. Also, there's a bunch of aquatic creatures hanging around the walls inside this grill. I felt like it made it seem more like a fish restaurant. And over on this display case here, I of course got a lot of kitchen utensils on it to make it feel more like a place you'd eat at. Also of course some seafood, because we're on a fishing dock here. I'd love to know what you all think of this place. This kind of reminds me of something that you would see in Fallout 4 Far Harbor, if you all have ever played that. Added a cabinet and then a brewing station behind the cabinet and added some shelves for where the cook would be at. There's also a stove as well over behind that area too. I don't know, I feel like this really came together in here. It actually feels like a place you'd come to to eat some seafood at. I made sure to not make it so bright inside this seafood place. I tested out bright lights, but it just didn't look right in here. The mild lighting in here really made the atmosphere pop more, I felt like. Once again, it gives me that Fallout 4 Far Harbor vibe. Also, forgot to mention, I have this rug down below. Seems like what you would have a picnic on, so it makes sense to add it into a place you eat at. It may not look super fancy, but I feel like it's kind of realistic in a way. Anyways, moving on. Over here is basically where the fishermen would fish at. I'm just pretending that this is where they would store their bait at or whatnot. Play some music. Just relax. Also, there are boats around in this vicinity, so 
that helps it feel more immersive as well. Next up here I got the bait shop. And as I mentioned previously, the reason why there's different kind of letterings here is because, well, if you think about it in the Fallout Wasteland, scavengers aren't going to exactly get everything perfect. So it's like, you know, they scavenged an H and an O and they only found an S and a P neon lettering. I don't know. I just feel like it makes a little bit more sense. And also, I think it looks nice personally. By the way, I had huge help by my buddy Mystic Storm 9431. She helped me a lot with decorating. She actually helped me a lot on my previous build as well, decorating that massive village that I made. That was actually the last upload that I did for quite some time when I was mentioning to y'all that I was under the weather. But yeah, this is the bait shop. And as soon as you come in here, you just hear tons of frogs. I feel like that really helps with this fishing village atmosphere. Heck, I should have called this place Far Harper, since it's right next to Harper's Ferry. <laughs> I don't know. I was highly inspired by Far Harbor. My buddy Crusader is running the bait shop here. I put a bunch of canned dog food inside the display case, because I just thought that it looked kind of like, you know, uh, canned worms or just some kind of canned bait. I don't know. And then over here in this display case, I got a shopping basket because, well, this is a shop. Also, there is a vegetarian ham here. I know that's kind of a weird thing to put into a bait shop, but from afar, it kind of looks just like maybe that is some kind of packaged seafood or something. I don't know. It's just for pretend, okay? I'm just pretending that's packaged fish. Anyways, I also got a uh, rack here for testing purposes, maybe for the water or something, and a microscope as well to further investigate maybe some things that you catch or the bait that you're using or heck even the water that we could be testing out there I don't know also around in the bait shop if you haven't noticed there are bugs around because I feel like that makes a bit more sense as well inside a bait shop because you know you use insects for bait when you fish I mean, you don't have to technically only use insects, obviously, but worms are most commonly used. Anyways, uh, over here, I just thought this looked nice. This is the West Virginia table that you can get. It's an atomic shop piece. As you can see, it's the West Virginia Day Bear table. This was actually on sale a little bit ago, so I just decided to purchase it because I feel like it flowed nice with this theme that I got going on here for this camp. I feel like the fish in the bear's mouth really flowed well in this bait shop. Is that guy named a Sad Nemo? <laughs> it's so perfect. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. That is hilarious. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I also have some frogs in here on the shelves where it looks like you could purchase them for food or whatever. I don't know. Obviously, we're around a fishing dock here. It's a swampy area. There could have been some frogs around that they caught and well, the bait shop selling them for food or whatever else. Basically this bait shop here is the fisher's way of making currency instead of them just selling cooked seafood over at the grill. So yeah anyways um, I guess I'll show you what's on this display case. We got the fisherman hat both of them that you can get the one that goes with the longshoreman outfit which by the way that's what I'm wearing in case you're curious the longshoreman outfit and I also got the uh, whoops, the old fisherman's hat, as you can see, in case you're wondering. Also, I got some seafood here. Makes sense, inside a bait shop. Also, there is a scale here, and just a clean coffee tin as well, which I took some time deciding on what I'm going to be putting on these display cases in here, because I know what I would put on these would help create the atmosphere a little bit more inside this place. For instance, the coffee tin would be like where they would store bait at, the scale is obviously to weigh things out. And the seafood is another way that the fishers make currency here. It looks also like they would weigh it out on that kitchen scale there. And lastly, the fisherman hats at the top as well. Also, there's an ice core stash here to keep the seafood fresh. Plants poster. Another froggy that was caught. And some herbs around the table. Also, in case you're wondering about this tire here that is randomly underneath this chair, this tire was just floating in the water and well my foundation allowed me to place it here so it ended up working out this chair flowed nicely inside the middle of this tire and also i don't know if you all noticed this i got the tadpole 
uh, Pioneer Scouts of America flagpole as well in here. This definitely suited the theme nicely. Yeah, that's what's going on inside here. Now let's uh, go ahead and carry on with the other buildings. I feel like I covered this for the most part. Hopefully something in this camp build helps inspire you to build something specific around in your camp. Or maybe it'll chain react you to make a fishing dock like this as well. I mean, I don't know. That's the reason why I continue to upload these camp builds, even though they don't do really the greatest with views. I feel like it actually helps improve players' imagination and creativity a little bit more. Because I know how it feels when you get stuck and you don't really know what else to do for your camps. This is just another little theme that I made, and once again, hopefully it helps inspire you in some kind of way. Something in here, at least. So yeah, over on this side is just another little area where the fishers would fish at. I got a cooler and a toolbox next to this chair. You know, the cooler is where the fisher may store his or her uh, bait at, or, you know, maybe the fisher's just going to hang out here for a while, and that cooler has his or her lunch in it. I don't know. That's what I was getting at when I was adding those there, though. But yeah, that's that side of the building. Anyways, moving on to the port side in. Inside this inn, we got Rusty Pete 69 hanging out, checking people in. A couple magazines to read. Restored fan, a telephone next to the person who checks you in. I got a Lucky and a Caps bobblehead as well, and, and a fixed camera as well as a fedora. Because, well, when I think of a fedora, I think kind of of business, I guess. Anyways, yeah, that's the check-in area. And then this inn has three bedrooms. Here's one bedroom. What are you doing, Rusty? <laughs> Here's another bedroom. They're all unique in their own kind of way. They're not exactly the same. And here's the third bedroom. I don't know what he's doing exactly. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the end. Nothing too big or fancy. But it gets the job done for visitors who may want to stay. Also, I have two water purifiers here around the dock. It really did flow nicely fit perfectly. Anyways, moving on. I typically always try to um, hide my fusion generator, so I have it hidden behind here, behind the porta potty here. Also got a light in there because it gets really dark around this area. I'm just going to throw that out there. If you do plan on making a camp around here, get prepared for darkness. Pure darkness. This is where fishermen would fish at. That's the reason why I don't have the uh, railings going all the way around. So they can just easily cast their fishing line out into the water. Also they got a nice cozy fire right here too. By the way, in case you haven't noticed that, that is the reason why I don't have railings around, you know, where the fishermen would fish at. Just throwing it out there. I don't think I showed you guys over here actually. Yeah. See? All the areas that the fishermen would fish at do not have railings because I feel like that'd be easier for them. Also not to mention the fishers that go out on the boats would be able to easily get what they call back onto the dock. Also not to mention it makes the camp easier to access as well. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, um, moving on. I also got an armor's workbench with a street light and a bench in the center and a weapons workbench on the other side. As well as those special plants that you can buy from the atomic shop. I feel like they just blended well here. But yeah, this is located more in the center area, just so new players that do come around in my camp will be able to easily find these crafting benches. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but the Tinker's workbench was in the bait shop. Now we're going to be heading into the Captain's Quarters. Which is right here. So immediately when walking in, we got a display case here. Some goodies on it. Clean, trifold American flag. These look really nice on the display cases. Feels really lived in in here, I thought. Nothing too fancy going on. This would be the captain's bedroom. 
Oh man, that looks so cool right there. Just seeing all the other people walking around. Looks nice. And the bathroom as well. One of my favorite spots in the captain's quarters because of this radiation shower with the uh, bathtub. Looks really nice. Also, this American flag is supposed to be kind of like a curtain. I don't know. It looks kind of off, too, at the same time. I could use it as, like, a curtain for the window, too, if I wanted. Just takes a minute to position. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to leave it there. Looks fine. Doesn't look that bad. So, yeah, this is the bathroom. And then out back at the captain's quarters, we got another fishing spot. And the fish that he catches, he can just straight grill right here. <clears throat> so yeah, this is my backyard. <laughs> just the lake. Nice! <laughs> got the chef frying up some fish. Cooking stove. As you can see, there are some strangler vines going through this. But it is what it is. I did what I could. So now, let me go ahead and give you a tour up around this tree. This is the main reason why I decided to place my camp at this location. I thought this was really unique looking. First off, obviously this was already here. That was too, besides that flamingo. We added that flamingo. Anyways, this chair was already here. This mailbox was as well. Can't wait until we're actually able to have mailboxes in our camps like we can actually place them in our camps i know there will be a thing sooner or later down the road because they were data mined it's going to be awesome but yeah obviously this boat was already here and this ramp too let me go ahead and take you on up this just a bunch of boats tangled up in this tree there's typically a plan right under here I'm going to push him off just because I can. Oh no, I pushed off my sugar. Side nor a sucker. That's always fun to do. Anyways, going on up. Got some cooking utensils. Really cool. Also, there's a random mafia cutout here too. He's walking the plank as you can see. This is also an area that you can randomly wake up at as well. This empty Nuka Shine bottle uh, proves that. Wherever you see an empty Nuka Shine bottle at, by the way, that is where you can randomly wake up at after you drink Nuka Shine. There's also a random duffel bag up here with typically some goodies. And this bathtub's typically filled with portable fuel and some other goodies to scrap. Just throwing it out there. It's not at the moment, though. I'm sure someone here just picked it up, but yeah. I'm going to shoot him off the plank. Goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, here's an overlook of the camp now. But yeah, that's what I got going on, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. This was a lot of fun to make. This was something that I had in the making for quite some time. And, well, I finally got around to doing it. I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.